Hello, this is Darth Jar Jar, and welcome to episode one of Feed Bar Fridays. This is the way series where I just look at all the figures that I've created over the week. Um, and if you didn't know, Fig Bar sort of means a, you know, parts of different figures combined to make a new figure or character. And that's what I've got here, 10 Fig Buffs. So in the top left here, we have three Star Wars Senators. Uh, and th I did a competition, it's called a Fig Off, against someone in the Fig Buff Central Discord server. Um, so from the left, you know, we've got a female, then we've got a, sorry, so you have a f female human, then you've got a, what are they called? Um, so here's a Juros, and then we've got a uh, male human. For their outfits, I tried to make them quite colourful and sort of have, have a, uh, a different coloured theme to each one. Uh, for many Star Wars characters, it's a lot of greys and beiges, but for senators, I feel they're quite... They're quite wealthy people, and they can afford the different uh, colours in the galaxy. Now up here we've got a, a Jedi Knight, and this is uh, a figure that sort of goes by itself. It's not got anyone accompanying it, but it, I just sort of started fiddling with figure parts, and it came together. Um, I think it's quite interesting, and it's got a really nice colour scheme. All the tans go together really well, um, and sort of her hair, you know, brings out all the colours. It works together. On the far right we've got a Mandalorian ba bounty hunter, maybe. Um, I, I just took the Boba Fett helmet and jetpack, that original one, and started, you know, putting it on different figures, and it just worked with that Mandalorian figure from the battle pack. I think the combination of the green in the torso and the helmet together work really well, and the dark blues go uh, contrast really nicely with the green. On the bottom left, we've got three Tatooine residents. Um, the bottom left is some sort of, maybe, maybe he's a bit of a local gangster, you know? He's got his, you know, citizens wear but some sort of mask, maybe he's been injured, and a pistol, you know, always ready to, def to defend himself. Then there's a twi-like mechanic, uh, took the parts from Ayla Sakura and blended them with uh, some overalls and some different legs, and I thought it came together quite well. So sh she's, you know, fixing ships and spears in Mos Espa. And here we've got some sort of grumpy moisture farmer. You know, old, sun-battered face, that's him. He's, you know, farming clothes, jacket and pants. He li must live a the bottom right, we've got, uh, two soldiers from a local militia. Uh, you know, some different planet that has their own defense force. Uh, it's lots of different figures combined in there to make their uniform, and I think it came together really well. They were made for um, the, the backstory to my Dark Times figure. Um, on the right, that would be him in his old uniform, and then eventually he joined the GAR. To make the first senator, you'll need the skirt piece from Barris Offy, the head piece, Hair piece and hands from Admiral Holdo, the torso and arms from Asaz so used, used a purple cape, not quite sure where it came from, and a small tile, which could be printed or not, just, just so she's reading off something. Here you go. For the Juro Senator, I use a piece from this Rebel Trooper, a skirt and torso from Voldemort, as well as the arms, a cape from this Mandalorian, two hands, which I got from Ayla Secure, in this shoulder piece and a cup. There he is. This male human senator you'll need, and O'Donna's hair, Hiadi Mundi's head, the legs and torso, as well as the arms from the uh, First Order officer, and Calarissian's cape, used a Harry Potter wand as a staff. There he is. For this Jedi Knight you'll need no Eclipse's hair, this Resistance A-Wing pilot's head, was Obi-Wan Kenobi's torso. I don't have the full figure. I don't want Obi-Wan Kenobi's legs. And a green lightsaber. So done. This Mandalorian was made using Original Boba Fett helmet and head. This Mandalorian's torso, arms and hands. This guy's legs and that little gun. And that's him done. To make this Tatooine resident, you'll need Kenobi's legs, his torso and arms, assistance pilot's head print, and hands, and Newt's, and Newt's commander's hair. And he also has a small silver blaster. That's that figure done. For this Twilight mechanic, I used Ayla Sakura's headpiece, uh, tailpiece, and hands, Commander Grey's legs, this resistance ground crew's torso and arms and for accessories she has a lightsaber hilt in gunmetal grey and a spanner 
and that's her done. For this moisture farmer, I used these resistance trooper legs, this rebel trooper torso, arms, and hands, old Boba Fett's head, Dean Thomas's hairpiece, and a pair of these macro binoculars. And that's all you'll need for him. These two militia troopers are pretty much the same. So, for those I used, the legs from Mud Trooper Han Solo, a reversed torso from Commander Gree, helmets from this re Rebel Trooper and A-Wing pilot, and whichever heads you want. I used some from Credence Bare Bones and Juno Eclipse. They both also have dark blue grey arms with dark fan hands, and whichever accessories you like. And that's how you make those two militia troopers. And that brings episode one of Fig Bar Fridays to a close. I hope you enjoyed looking at all the figures I made through this week and seeing how I made them. It'd be great if these inspired you to make some of your own. Let me know down below if there's any figures you'd like me to give a go, you know? Any ideas, any different troopers or characters in Star Wars you'd like me to make, as well as any improvements I can make to the series, you know, how I edit it or anything else you'd like me to include. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you like what I do, uh, please subscribe for more. Um, there's more Fig Bar Fridays coming. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day.